Modern critical Quranic studies have demonstrated with rigor something that non-Muslims could have already guessed. Claims about perfect oral preservation of the Quran fall flat. When it comes to the Quran's manuscripts, we now have lots of information publicly available, like that on the Quran Gateway, which shows thousands of images of intentional changes to the text of the Quran. Now, this raises some interesting questions because the vast majority of this work is done by non-Islamic scholars. Some of the relevant questions are, how long have Muslim authorities had access to Quranic manuscripts? A long time. How long have non-Muslim scholars had even limited access to Quranic manuscripts? Not very long in comparison. How much time have modern Muslim authorities had to tell Muslims the truth about the preservation of the Quran? A lot of time. How much time have non-Muslim scholars had to tell the truth about the preservation of the Quran? Not very much. Yet it is non-Islamic scholars who are telling us the truth about the preservation of the Quran. And the evidence comes right from the Quranic manuscripts themselves. Meanwhile, what have we been hearing from Islamic authorities? The text of the Quran is entirely reliable. It has been as it is, unaltered, unedited, not tampered with in any way since the time of its revelation. So many textual variants. Not one word of its 114 chapters have ever been changed over the centuries. But look at all of these textual variants. The astonishing fact about this book of Allah is that it has remained unchanged even to a dot. No variation of text can be found in it. Textual variant, textual variant, textual variant, textual variant. Unlike earlier scriptures, the Quran has been preserved, unchanged, in its original Arabic text. It was passed on in exactly the same form. Then why do we see all of these textual variants? The Quran is the only scripture which has been preserved in its exact original form, not a word added or removed. That's really ironic because I see lots of words added and removed. The Quran has been protected by Allah himself against any corruption. Textual variant, textual variant, textual variant, textual variant. The Quran has been perfectly preserved and protected from human tampering for the past 1400 years. If that's the case, why don't we have the originals? And why are there so many textual variants? We don't have the originals. We have copies made centuries later. These copies that were made centuries later contain numerous mistakes, thousands of mistakes, tens of thousands of mistakes, hundreds of thousands of mistakes. Time and time again, Muslim authorities have had the opportunity to tell Muslims and the rest of the world the truth about the preservation of the Quran, and time and time again, they have chosen not to. This leads us to one of two possibilities. These Islamic authorities are simply incompetent. It took them centuries to find out something Western scholars figured out within several decades. Or two, Islamic authorities are being deliberately dishonest. I don't really think anyone is ignorant enough for the first option. I don't believe that Islamic authorities are so incompetent that they couldn't do in several centuries what Western scholars have done in several decades. Muslims, if you want to choose that option, have at it. For me, it's the second option. Many Islamic authorities are being deliberately dishonest. How ironic it is, then, I read some comments like this on my channel, responding to the first video I posted about Quran Gateway. Dang, people are paying for this? SMH. You can just ask Muslims about the Quran. Just ask a Muslim who is merely repeating lies he's been taught all of his life about the preservation of the Quran? No thank you. The sad fact is that many Muslims have not had access for a very long time to evidence that they need to objectively evaluate claims made by their authorities about the preservation of the Quran. That's part of the reason channels like this exist, whether it's here or David Wood, Sam Shamoon, Al Fadi, Christian Prince, Jay Smith, DCCI, Soko Films. We all care more about Muslims knowing the truth than many Islamic authorities who have simply chosen to build up the faith of Muslims with lies. Some of you watching this are ex Muslims. You've seen the lies for what they are and you've left Islam. Others of you are not. Some of you resist the criticism 
of non-Muslims about your religion. And that's okay. You can leave the evidence with Islamic authorities. Just leave it to them. Don't bother looking at the evidence yourself. They'll tell you what the evidence says. They'll interpret it for you. They'll tell you the truth. Honestly. <laughs>